Good morning, or good bleary morning to those of you who may have stayed up a little late last night watching a little upstate, you know, kind of rivalry going on in the state here. From Stewardship Chair Kathleen Reynolds, I'm excited to share with you that after Commitment Sunday last week, we're at 65% of our goal, with 290 pledges totaling $1.7 million. Those of you who haven't yet had the chance to pledge can do so in a lot of different ways. There are cards and envelopes in your pew. There are, there's the online website, and you may email our church secretary, Sherry Owens, as well. When Kathleen asked me to tell you why my husband, Kevin, our almost six-year-old son, Preston, and I are in when it comes to giving to Westminster, it was an easy yes, considering how much we've been given here. In the early 2000s, 17-ish years ago, Greenville, South Carolina, and our country were a different place than it is today. Kevin and I had met three years earlier in 1998 at a Halloween party here in Greenville. We dated for a year before deciding Greenville was the place we wanted to make our home and lives together. Because we both had been raised in the church, we were kind of both there whenever the doors were opened. I played piano for my church and another church in my hometown, and Kevin graduated from Southwestern Seminary in Fort Worth. For us, finding a church was a priority. In 2001, we made an appointment with then Congregational Care Minister Steve Vance, explained our situation, and asked him if he thought Westminster was ready for a couple like us. Having been a Presbyterian minister for a long time, Steve said he couldn't be completely sure how any congregation would react, but that he sincerely thought Westminster members would be receptive, loving, and open, and that sensing the reason Kevin and I had made an appointment in the first place had polled all of the then church staff members, and they wanted us to know that to a person we were welcome at Westminster. We came, joined, and haven't looked back since. Steve was right. Here, we have found a loving, supportive church family with a rich diversity of ideas, beliefs, and priorities that in a rare combination today is respectful of and receptive to different ideas, beliefs, and priorities. We found people in groups who have taught us, challenged us, and loved us through life. You name it, our marriage, the birth and baptism of our son Preston, illnesses, my father's death, and everything in between. We've had the privilege of teaching Sunday school several years, and, and by we, I mean Kevin, who prepares the lesson, and I do what I'm told. <laughs> he, he served on the education committee, volunteered for vacation Bible school, he wrote this morning's Harbinger cover, which I think is pretty good, and subject to congregational approval, will, ser will serve on the pastoral search and nominating committee to find Barbara Stoops' successor. I served on a long-range planning committee and began serving on the session in 2016. Preston sings in the Cherub Choir, is a Sunday school regular, loves the donuts when we let him eat them, and is basically here whenever the doors open, just like his father's were. I don't list these as our accomplishments, but instead as our opportunities to learn, be enriched, and have our souls fed. Believe me when I tell you we've received way more than we've given. Sometimes when we're teaching Sunday school, like this morning, our children's responses are like a caroline bell from God, crystal clear and unmistakable if we listen. When I told Preston I was going to tell you why we give to Westminster and ask him what he thought, he said without hesitation, because Westminster teaches us about God's love in the Bible and gives money to people who need it. Yep, Preston, that's exactly why, right. That's why our family is in. We hope you are too.